What is going on guys? Ghost here and today we are looking at this little tiny trailer here. Um, the landlord was like, hey, I have this trailer for sale. Would you be interested in I was like, well, I don't know. Because like usually I haul big things. But the cool, crazy thing is, um, you know, Katie called this morning. I was like, hey, can you go pick up a uh, golf cart and stuff? So I came home and everything. And everything and had lunch and stuff. And I was like, and he's like, hey, would you want to try this? And I was like, huh that might be a perfect good time to see if we would actually like use this little trailer so we're going to take this to get the go uh, golf cart and everything i've got the cummins up here I haven't really been able to drive or anything because it is a couple of collisions where i can't put a fifth wheel hit a uh, fifth wheel in the truck yet and plus it's just way too hot uh tall so but we can use this so we're going to actually use a truck today i've been wanting to use this truck because i absolutely love it it's a beautiful truck but we were always hauling stuff. Had you seen yesterday? We went to haul something, and of course, we didn't have a trailer or we needed a trailer. All right, let's go ahead and hook that up. Now, how is this? I probably should get out of the road. My bad. Let's pull it up here. I want to see how this thing works. Is this got like a hydraulic there? So, okay. So it tips like that, and then you just pull whatever. Boy, on that heel right there, you got something full of drive to make up through there. And then it hooks to it. Okay. All right. That's that's actually pretty neat, especially if you got something kind of low to the ground. Hmm. He's wanting like 1,500 for us. That's pretty little, like, chunk of change. Now, if he said, you know, like 500 or something like that, probably. I mean, it does have a hydraulic dump bed in central. Well, hydraulic bed. All right. We got to head on over and grab the golf cart. Now, I I, I said that we should, you know, um, we should uh, squat it. And a lot of you all were like, hey, that's hilarious. Yes, you should. So we're actually going to go and we're going to squat it and everything. Uh, I got some pipe we're going to be in. I think uh, it just has like just regular, like almost like lawnmower, like you know, ATV style steering in the front. So we're just going to basically extend the front, uh, like with just pipe. I've got lay uh, left over from like when we did the mud truck build, and just lift it straight up in the front. I think that's all we're going to do. I think that'd be hilarious. So let's go ahead and pick this bad boy up, take it to the shop, completely ruin it, send the picture to her, and be like, ha ha, never say ha ha, sure whatever to me again. Ha ha ha, insert evil laugh here. <laughs> You know, I kind of feel like this truck might be a little overkill because the front wheels on here ain't even turning because we're lifted so high right now. But I absolutely do love this truck. I don't know, like, I really want to lift it, but then it's like we kind of kill the functionality even more of it. And I'm like, hey, what well, if we put like a really nice flatbed on it? That would be pretty good and actually just kind of lower it, just make it like a dually. That would be pretty good. Just make it an everyday work truck because that's kind of what I'm uh, lacking is a everyday work truck. Ooh, look at that. Looks like they've been working there. Hmm. Something cool coming. Looks like some off-road. Uh, let's see. Now we need to go up here. It's like our, like, this was like one of our, our first builds we did for somebody that's here. And like now we're like millionaires. Like, I'm just kidding. We're thousand airs later all right well I guess that's it all right let me step in here tell them I'm grabbing it if that is it hey yeah I'm good that's it. all right thank you all right let's grab this bad boy now, I want to see how it actually pulls up on this trailer like, will it do good? I mean, it's a golf cart. It's not too bad of the incline. All right, let's see. Oh, right, so you're on the wrong side of the road. This thing. Okay, so it is, it is a, uh, a gas golf cart. All right. Let's pull the bad boy up on here. 
Oh, that actually wasn't that bad. All right, let's strap it down. Oh, look at that. It's not really like that overkill. I, I probably should have put it back since it was over the wheels, but kind of hoping that weight right there makes it so the front wheels actually touch the ground because it wasn't before. It's actually... Has, uh, for that top close. All right, just a little way to that golf cart actually uh, made the wheels touch here. All right, let's rock and roll. Head back to the shop and start doing some cutting. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm having too much fun. You know what? A lot of these, like, uh, squad vehicles, they do, like, a really crazy, like, big fluffy steering wheel for some reason. Like, I... I couldn't have one on my truck because it would be like completely dirty because like working or you know everything but you know what I have an idea let's go in here and see if we can find some kind of cool little stern wheel thing to put on this I think that would be hilarious um I guess I want to be that guy that parks like this I do have a trailer though all right, let's see what we can find for a steering wheel for this thing. I don't know what we can do, but we'll see what we can get. Where's the door? Oh, haha! -ha! I have found a door. All right, so I have found a steering wheel thing. It's a boat wheel. I think it's more like a novelty item. I don't think boats even use a steering wheel or a, a, a wheel like this anymore, but I have an idea. What if I got zip ties? We'll just zip tie on the actual other steering wheel and everything. And since we're kind of doing it as a boat looking thing, like style, I got another ideal. Back to the store. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so you know we couldn't do like a little boat mobile thing without a SpongeBob, so I have a SpongeBob that I can zip tie in the uh, other seat while I'm driving in my sweet golf cart. All right, we'll just strap him over right there. Is, is that wheel strapped down? I think it is. All right, we're ready to roll. <laughs> I think the whole thing about this is the SpongeBob thing has got me more excited. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. Get the my keys. All right, now let's go do some chopping because, I mean, we had to put some cool things on here to, you know, make it cool. Like, just imagine rolling up to a gas station on a squatted golf cart. I've been, like, oh, dear Lord, I'm stopping. Okay, here we go. Whew. Anyways, I actually follow this, like, mud mower page on Facebook, and I've been seeing when people have been squatting lawnmowers. I think it's for jokes more than anything, but, like, maybe squatting lawnmowers, like, lifting front up high. So, I, I really don't know. But I figured we'd squat a golf cart. It's just going to be a joke anyways. Um, I'll, I'll lower it back down and then I'll be like, now how do you want us to build it? <laughs> but I just wanted me to take a picture and roll around a little bit on it. But I think the SpongeBob is just going to be the coolest thing. And I'll just play, here's a SpongeBob for you. I, I, I bought this for you. And everything. We're a little past Valentine's Day, but here's a late SpongeBob Valentine. Stuff animal thing. Oh, and here's a boat wheel too. Sorry, I couldn't afford the boat. I can only afford the novelty uh, item that hangs in the boat. And you don't even use that as a wheel anymore because it's like an old, like a uh, ship wheel, I guess, like pirate wheel. I guess, I don't know. I'm not a boat person. I've only ridden in a boat one time and me and my cousin, like, it was just laying. It was like a, like a, kind of like a job boat. And it was just laying there on the side of the, the bank at a, a, a a reservoir up here where we live and we grabbed it and stuff and I mean we probably shouldn't have but we put it out in the water and we was out there you know just like hi hi this is cool we, we literally broke a tree limb off of a tree and use it as a, 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 a oar or a paddle or whatever you call it and after a while we noticed water was coming in the boat and we realized why it was laying there because it had holes in it so we had to try our best to get it up to the bank and everything and her like paddle thing broke and it was it was awful it was hilarious really awful okay i gotta let this down all right 
here we go. Go ahead and strap. Gotta strap the SpongeBob! <laughs> oh lord. That could be like my shop's mascot. Uh. Should we just put it in this bay. And I got my wheel. Use this as like a clock or something. Alright. We got the wheel. We got old SpongeBob. Oh, I'm just, I'm having too much fun. All right, it's a great day. Great day to be alive, you know? All right, let me go ahead and rip that off. Do, 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 do. All right, let me hop on in. Hop on in this night. Oh, yeah. You give the beans. Yeah, what you know about that? No flex whatsoever. All right. So what I was thinking was, it's probably not going to fit on there. You know what? What if this would fit on air, air ramp out back? So I can kind of get a look at how I need to do it. See? I don't even think it will fit this thing. It won't. That's okay. I'll flex it. But what happened to the side of my golf cart? I was, uh, <laughs> I was flexing. All right, so we still can't see the steering. Kinda. All right, so I feel like if we just put two big bars going down, that'd be good. And then ha have it like a little, we could probably just do the, the hub spindle or whatever. On the end of it, call it a day, driving around. Look for some chickies. This old man, for, uh, Fred, lost his chicken, so we gotta look for him. See, ah, yeah, uh, you thought I was gonna ride around my girlfriend's golf cart and look for girls, didn't you? Psh, psh, psh. All right, um, let me see. I hope I still have some bar left. Do I not? <gasps> no! Well, I might have some out here in the back shop in the old uh, barn. Let me see if I have any. Well, this sucks. I hope I do. Oh, stupid lock. All right, so I don't have any, so I'm actually going to have to order a bar, uh, some piping. That's pretty close. Ooh, there's some piping. No, nah, we don't want to cut that. I could get them off of ray bars, but I don't want to cut that either. All right, so I'm going to order a piece of pipe. Hopefully, we have it here very soon. And what I'm going to do is uh, it's going to come off of the uh, spindle, just go straight down. And well, I don't know. It'll probably have to go down. Let's see. And then we'll we'll curve it to go inwards. I think that's what we're going. To. Actually, um. The wheels are sitting inward some, so it'll probably be like down and then curve and then go in. So it kind of, the wheel sits in a curve. So I think that's how we're going to do it. And I'm going to somehow attach old SpongeBob in here somewhere, like there, or whatever. And then I'll grab some zip ties and I'll be like, slap that bad boy on it, like right there. Be perfect. So let me get my zip ties and we'll get some pipe ordered and be good to go. All right, so I got everything done. Um, the piping came and everything. I went ahead and pre bent it and everything on the old pipe bender over here and everything. And it absolutely looks... I mean, I, I'll let you... Yeah. But I do have a pirate steering wheel zip tied onto a regular steering wheel with a SpongeBob in a squatting golf cart. I mean, yeah, look at this bad boy. Hang on. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> and got old SpongeBob. <laughs> the SpongeBob like voice artist would like cringe at my laughing. Check that out, rock and roll. What's up, bro? Got my golf cart. I should have had a Mr. Krabs and like Patrick and Squidward and everything on here. Put a big old bubble on it and make it a sandy mobile. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what she wants a golf cart for, but I'll have to find out what she's wanting to do with it because I don't think she wants to keep it like this, but check it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, 
rolling, rolling, hating, trying to catch me riding with SpongeBob. Yeah. What's this thing? This thing will probably not flex. I don't even know if I can even get it to like pull up on something. Ugh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, we're riding level now. <laughs> It really don't have, I mean, it is quite a real bad, but it don't have that bad. It, you don't feel it when you're driving, really, though. I mean, I guess if you actually look out of the thing, so, yeah. Because we're more or less just staring at the steering wheel. Well, I can take the steering wheel with SpongeBob off. She'll probably want to keep SpongeBob. We'll put him on the back there, because I think that'd be pretty cool. But I think she'll find a kick out of it. I don't want to send a picture to him. Like, hey, check out your car. I'm sorry, but just tell me, like, that just, it, every time you see something like that, you just want to be like, yeah, you know, I need that, I need that daggone charger, I need it, and we need like a little cart for this thing just to like pull around, and when we get our new shop going or something, that'd be great, well, we built a squatted golf cart with the SpongeBob, I, I think that's pretty good. Like our, and, and we picked up parts for our, uh, our old truck here this morning and everything. So that's, that's even better. So we've done a lot, you know, today and everything. Even though it was like a two-part, uh, you know, series and everything. But I guess we're going to have to start back on this. I'm going to have to get the hood and everything and slam on this. We actually need a, uh, I had to order a couple more uh, uh, pieces because it seems like it was wanting to overheat and everything. And it still takes forever to start, which, I mean... Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. There we go. So, got to get that fine-tuned so it doesn't take that long to get it started and everything. But I ordered a couple more hoses and fittings and stuff because we had a couple leaks. And I just want to make sure it's going to be good when we do hook something to it. But we need to get the hood and everything and we got to get lights ordered and everything. But! You know, we're getting there. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a blessed day. Make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel and everything. And anyways, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. SpongeBob. <laughs> I got to work on that. <laughs> anyways, woo! <laughs> America. Love it or leave it. That's the truest thing.